All right, it's time to open up the Goron Grave. All right, let's get on our Goron Mask for the first time. And you can't skip this uh, cutscene. Like, whenever you get a new transformation mask, you can't skip out the transformation cutscene. Um, and it goes the same with the Zora mask as well. Alright, so we're going to pull this grave open, and it's going to reveal a hot spring. Yay! But with this hot spring water, we have to be extremely quick with it. Um, Alright, so we're going to get nab in one of our bottles here. Yeah? The only bottle that we actually have at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be really, really quick with this because we've got to go all the way down to the icicle that's blocking that hole inside, or just outside the entrance of Goron Village. Um, the the area in between Goron Village and the Mountain Village is where we have to go. And stop talking to me because I'm on an important mission right now. And I forgot that Goron's can't swim. <laughs> Whoopsie. Alright, so we can't do that. We're going to have to use the Bonnie Hood then, I guess. Um, so. Castle. You can use a bunny to jump off and then use the Goron mask to roll. I guess that works out just as well. We got quick Because I think even if you have the pause menu up, the time still goes. Because the hot spring water obviously isn't going to stay hot forever, especially in these cold conditions. This is the only time you need to go back up there for that hot spring water because inside this area, believe it or not, there is another hot spring. So we can get um, the hot spring that water that we will need um, to rescue this guy who's hidden inside. Actually, no, I don't think we're supposed to do this yet. No. No, we're not. We're meant to go inside the Goron Shrine first, but at least we've actually opened up the cave, so that's good. Yeah, we're supposed to pay a visit to the Goron Shrine first and speak to the baby, and then once we've spoken to the baby, we can then speak to the dad, because then we can say to the dad that the baby's having a problem, and that the baby's missing his dad, and then the dad is going to teach us the first part of the melody, and then we go back to the Goron Shrine again, and then we speak to the baby, and then the baby gives us the second part of the world. Well, yeah, that's it. That's how it works. And the Goron seem very distressed. <laughs> well, I would be if there was a cr baby crying that loud. I mean, Jesus Christ, like a fog now. Let's go to it too, anyway. Keep him calm. <laughs> Somehow. Wow, uh, wow, daddy, daddy, oh, I'm so cold, yeah, uh, uh, Dami, where's my daddy, where's my daddy? Alright, so now that we've spoken to him, that will then, um, give us the cutscene that we need from his dad. Which will then help us. I'm surprised that baby didn't question that I'm still alive, but then again, it's just a baby, I mean, it's it's not going to know whether I'm alive or not, or whether I'm dead or whatever. But all the other Gorons would be pretty spooked to see me wandering around. Yeah, bitches, I'm back from the dead. <laughs> I have nine lives. <laughs> uh, there's also a hidden chest in here as well, but I think that's just rupees as well, so I'm not going to bother with that. Yeah, we don't need rupees. I think it's rupees, it might be bomb shoes, but you can get bomb shoes anyway, you know, you can get bomb shoes from the bomb shop. You can get bomb shoes from the freaking. You can get bomb shoes from K's, you know. It's not... Yeah, it's this one. Right. I don't know if he changes places depending on what day it is, so if it's on the first day, he appears here, and if he's on the second day, he appears like somewhere else. And then on the final day, he appears in a different place as well. Huh, what was I doing? Ah, it's already this late. I must hurry. Dude, you gotta stop. Your child's in, like, suffering from crippling depression. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're a Dharma and I, but you're supposed to be dead. Am I hallucinating? Yeah, it's all that Goron magic mushrooms that you've been taking. <laughs> Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Hmm, I've been made a fool of. But... 
That's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see the past, past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. What? My son is crying because he misses me? Why do you know that? Well, that's because I just spoken to him. My son misses me. Oh, forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Darmanine, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song. I am about to play on my drum. Ooh, drum solo, nice. <laughs> it is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. I was going to bust out sick drum solo. Come on, dude. Bust out those moves. How does this song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. Oh, God, we got old dude with Alzheimer's. He can't even remember the song. <laughs> um. Ah, yes, yes, like this. It's no good, I can't remember. I can rem remember only the beginning. Uh, Alright, uh, that's okay, dude. It's probably all that being stuck in the ice for so long, you know. Suffering from extreme hypothermia. <laughs> And besides, Gorons aren't meant to be living in these types of conditions, and that's the whole point why we're supposed to be going to Snowhead to tackle the evil that's inside. I need a sip of water, my mouth's getting dry from talking to me. You learn the lullaby intro, the soothing melody of a thoughtful father. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I am counting on you. Your fate is in my hands. I shall save the Goron population, and I shall also tell your child that you are thinking of him, and that you miss him. And blah 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 blah. Right, so let's get in front of the shrine, and do ourselves a ground pound. There's also a mask that we can get from here as well, but we have to do this part first before we can... Um... Wow, uh, uh, wow, da daddy, daddy, I'm so cool. Yeah, you've told us this before, dude. Oh, no, we need to get ourselves the, um, the... Warren drums out. And we have to play the first part of the song. So. And then he'll teach us the rest. Yeah, is this calm me down now? That song, that's the song Daddy always played for me before I w go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. And the funny part is that you can't remember the last two notes <laughs> at the end of the song. So you can remember like most of it, but you can't remember those last two notes. The Snowhead Temple is kind of weird, because it's like an ice temple mixed with a fire temple. So, technically, it's like the ice and fire temple of the game. Because this game doesn't have a fire temple. It's just got a forest temple, a snow temple, a water temple, and... I, I don't really know what to class Stone Tower, because it's a mix of everything. It's a mix of water, it's a mix of fire, it's a mix of shadow, kind of. It's got that kind of shadowy-esque vibe to it. Mmm, it's just like Daddy's right beside me. <laughs> He's sound asleep. He looks like a potato, what the hell? <laughs> well, I guess all Gorons look like giant potatoes. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. Oh god, they're all asleep. <laughs> This music's contagious, so I'm surprised that I'm still awake, you know? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna uh, take our Goron mask off now and get ourselves Deku sticks out and replace the Goron mask with the bunny hood because we're gonna get ourselves another mask. Yeah, this is kind of, this mask is kind of a pain in the ass to get, especially if the uh, meat sirloin 
is placed in one hell of an awkward um, casket lantern thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have to hit the right one. And usually it gets really annoying if there's like one left. And you know, oh, and then you're like, oh god, it would have to be the last one to hit where the meat serving is. So it sucks just getting more and then having one left over and you're like, oh god, that's what they need. It's in the last freaking one. <laughs> hopefully we don't have to suffer through that. I'm hoping that we get it like on the first or second try, but it's most likely realistically going to be the second try. I mean, I'd be very surprised if I get this first time around. I'm not the bone Ah, I was hoping for the first, I was hoping for the first time there, but um, I don't know how long it took me to do this on my let's play when I did it about two or what, three years ago now. I can't believe it's been three years since I started that. Oh, three years, man. Three years have gone by so quickly. Man. Kind of, yeah. No, I'm not even the second try. God damn it. When am I going to nail this thing? <laughs> but yeah, I've decided I am going to get all the stray fairies inside Snowhead Temple, so that is confirmed. Because I don't want to do the final boss with just so little magic here. Because to beat the first form of Majora's Mask, you need to use the white arrows, and I think it's better that way to beat them with the white arrows, and then you start fighting. Well, I guess Majora's Incarnation is a very easy form to beat, but then when you get to Majora's Wrath, that's when things start getting really sketchy. It's the first and final form of the ones that you want to worry about, the second form is a piece of cake. As long as you've got plenty of arrows, <laughs> and not wasting them all in the first form, then you're alright. But yeah, I won't be using any masks to aid me. I won't be using like the Zora. I'll only use the Zora mask if if the situation gets really sticky. God, I keep missing. That. I was thinking to get the Chaku Romani, but because that's kind of cheap. And the only way, the only reason why I use the chat is in this game anyway is for the fist beating or, or fist guiding us. Yeah. Fist guiding us, you need to use the. Oh no. Yeah, you need to use Chatter and I for that because the magic just depletes so quickly. And it is the last one, isn't it, I think? Last one. So I freaking jinxed myself by saying that. <laughs> well, there you go, good boy. Always, always has to be the last one. Long term container thing that you have to hit. <laughs> it's such a shame that we can't go up the slope because then that would make a nice shortcut, but instead we've got to go all the way around. Yeah, getting this mask is kind of tedious because, you know, you can't do your rolling thing, you've got to run with this meat sirloin hanging over your head with probably grease and fat dripping all over your forehead. You know, all of this just to get a mask, you know. I mean, why can't we just go down to the grocery store and get you some meat that way? Hey, I'm just going to stop off at Goron Kmart or whatever it is in the US. Kmart, is that, is that a grocery store? I know Walmart is. And... No, that's Walgreens, that's the pharmacy, that's it. Walgreens is the pharmacy, Walmart is a supermarket. I think Kmart is also a supermarket, but they sell different stuff there. I, think. I mean, Kmart wouldn't be a freaking pharmacy and all that much. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a pharmacy is called Kmart? Here we go. We got ourselves a meat sirloin. 
That, that's it. It's so good that I dream about it. Dodongo's Cavern's finest quality rock sirloin. This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. Well, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait one moment. Alright, just don't land on my head, okay? <laughs> oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Darman, are you alive? <laughs> yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. So I got so the Dongiro's mask. It looks like the Dongiro conductor of the fog. It was crafted so well that no one would even think that think twice if you were to direct the fog part. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope as I might, it's, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. Well, I'll see you back there once I've done doing stuff at Snowhead, Snowhead Temple. I was trying to force a burp out there. <laughs> Right, I think we can at least get to the entrance to the dungeon, so... Because it's not really that long, you know, we just got to do a bit of rolling. Jump over a few gaps, hit a few snowballs along the way. And that's it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Big snowballs and... Uh, dude, calm down there. Oh my god, I can't get a good roll because all these snowballs keep coming in my way. There we go. That should be more than enough power. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> I keep hitting into everything. Dude, hitting into trees, hitting into snowballs, what's next? Hitting over a stone like a pebble or something? <laughs> Statue. Huzzah! I open my wings. <laughs> I open my wings and I feel majestic. I am a majestic owl. <laughs> hoot hoot. My fairy. I will save. Just in case. You know. Alright, I guess I should go ahead and wrap things up now, so uh, it's pretty obvious what we'll be doing in the next episode. In the next episode, let's play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. We shall be making a start on the second dungeon of the game, which is Snowhead Temple. So until then, this is Indy Emerson. Thanks for watching. Take care, folks. See you in the next video. And goodbye.